what you see behind me is the raw material for the uh, Homestead Fire Suppression System, my fast attack <laughs> water tank high pressure pump system that um, I'm starting to put together and think about. Got a tank and a really nice uh, surplus aluminum uh, box for fire tools there uh, from uh, very graciously given to me by my neighbor uh, as well as some other things. So let's get these unloaded and see what we got and see if we can't come up with something uh, on the cheap that will uh, uh, work as a fire, fire tanker insert. So the nameplate just shows the what year it was built and it doesn't show the gallonage so we're going to have to do the math here. So after doing the math on this tank I found out that it's uh, approximately 266 gallons is the capacity and at 8.35 pounds per gallon and 266, it comes out to about 2,221 pounds of water that this will hold plus the weight of the tank. So this is just about ideal for a brush rig. So unfortunately the outlet of the tank is only one inch and I have a two inch high pressure pump and I, I'll need to connect with the two inch so, and put a valve on it. So we'll uh, cut this out of here and then re-weld the two inch nipple on there so we can make a connection to our pump. So I'll use a magnet to get anything metallic, any pieces out of here so I won't be running them through my pump. That's pretty much it for the flange. Not pretty but uh, it should hold. Welding is kind of like shooting. If you don't do it all the time, you kind of lose the touch. And I don't weld enough to be uh, all that great at it. Not, and I never really was. I'm self-taught. So, But uh, we'll fill it up and we'll see if it holds. This project is going to be done on the, the very, very cheap scale. Almost free scale. So used. Everything we used and making do with what we have around here. So I've got this really beautiful 2-inch solid brass valve with a chrome-plated ball. Which is... Uh, Glad I don't have to buy it, but we'll use that uh, for a newly welded nipple. So here's kind of what I'm thinking when I'm putting them together here. I've got these uh, two cross members for heavy duty pallet racking and a couple pieces of scrap iron there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, box these in, weld them all into a, a rectangle here, and then mount a platform here for the pump. You know, it's doing this type of stuff is always, uh, the, the doing of it is the easy part. It's the sitting around and thinking and scrounging and trying to design it that takes all the time. Here on the back side I have the matching piece, you can see. So I'm just contemplating I should go ahead and weld that. Sometimes you just gotta start doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and weld this cross member on. I've got all the paint cleaned off so we get a nice connection. And you know this isn't designed to be lifted and toted around with uh, a ton of water in it. It's just to handle the tank when it's empty. Once it's in place and secured in the bed of the truck or the trailer, uh, then we'll fill it. So it doesn't have to be crazy uh, engineered. So here's the rust in frame with the cross members installed, all welded together, and time to start fitting and securing the tank. two-inch supply line connected that will run up to the pump. I'm going to leave this long because I want this to be as versatile as possible. I might need, need to take the pump off, put it on the ground to draft water from a pond or you know instead of filling from my water tower. So all this stuff, you know, I just don't have duplicates for everything so I've got to be able to make it 
fill multi, multi roles. So we'll leave the, the full length hose on here. And right now I'm going to uh, fab up a quick bracket uh, to hang the hose on. So the tanker insert's all done, and I designed it to be loaded up in the back of my truck with a forklift, and uh, so the chance had it, it, my forklift ran out of propane, and I don't want to drive into town to get it. So, uh, good practice, you should always have a, a backup way to get it in the back of the truck, so I'll use my chain hoist over here, and we'll see if we can't load it up, install the pump, and fill it up, and see how it, see how it works. Toolbox on it with a two by four. Hold the pump in. Then a little strap here to hold some extra gas. So those of you guys that have been following the channel will remember that uh, on the water tower I put a, a two inch connection to fill up my uh, future wildland tank you can see right here. So uh, I'll pull that valve and we'll fill up the tank and eventually I'll have quick attach couplers on those so I can uh, hook on and, and disconnect hook, connect and disconnect very quickly. You know now I've got to thread them on there but I'll wait to find those uh, cheap somewhere. But uh, let's see if we can fill it up. Come on over see what happens. No. I won't score you. So, so, give me the story. How much water is in the big tank up there? So the fire pump I'm using is a, a Honda high pressure two inch uh, outlet, and then the the toolbox here is just for uh, appliances and. Not, it'll be more things in the future, but uh, just basic tools and stuff, and just to keep a nice dry toolbox to keep it uh, from getting all wet. And the tank is full. Truck sitting on the overloads, but looks like it'll handle it all right. So let's uh, let's try it out. We'll do a little fast attack demonstration. 